Howdy campers and welcome to your fourth Bootstrap 4 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about containers and breakpoints. Alright then, so first of all, what is a container? Well, containers are pretty much what they say they are. They're the most basic layout component in Bootstrap 4 that actually required when we use the grid system, but we'll get into that later. But essentially they wrap and contain our content and they give us some basic padding and margin to go around our content as well. Plus, they also help us center our content in the middle of the page if we want to. Now, there's two types of containers, fluid or fixed. And the main difference, or rather the only difference between them, is that a fixed container has always a maximum width and is centered on the page. And that maximum width changes depending on the breakpoint or the viewport. As we get to smaller screens, the max width gets smaller. As we go to larger screens, the max width gets larger. And a fluid container is always 100% of the viewport width or its surrounding container if that has a max width property on it. So we're going to see both of these in action. So let's jump into the code and give them a whirl. All right, so I'm back in the index file and I've stripped out the code from the body we did in the last tutorial. So I'm left with just this starter file that Bootstrap gave us on their website. So what I want to do is create two containers. First of all, a fixed one, then a fluid one. So we'll need an element to give a class of container to, and I'm just going to use a div for now. We'll give this a class of container. Now this is going to create a fixed container for us, the kind of default container, if you like. All right. Um, and within that div, let's just do a H1 called fixed container. What I'm also going to do is give this a style property. Uh, so it's got a background color of sky blue. Now I don't advise you to add inline styles to your HTML. This is bad practice. I'm just using something quick and dirty so you can distinguish between this fixed container and the fluid container in the browser. All right, so let us now copy this and do a fluid container, paste it down here. And this time the class is not container, it is container hyphen fluid. That's it. So that's the only difference between these two. So this is going to create a fixed container, this a fluid container. So let's just change here the text and also the background what can we use yellow all right so let's save this and check it out in a browser and now we can see this fixed container is the blue one it has a maximum width you can see it stops here and here and it's centered on the page now if we make this a little larger you can see it's still centered and it still has that maximum width and if we hover over the element in this inspector then you can see that that width is 1140 pixels wide. And you can see this one right here, this fluid container doesn't have a maximum width. It's 100%. Okay. And as we get smaller, you'll notice that the fits container goes to different max width. So as we reach the first breakpoint here, you see it goes smaller and now it has a different max width. Now it's 960 pixels, whereas this fluid container is still 100% width of the viewport so as we go smaller it gets the fits container goes smaller as well etc all the way down to really small screen sizes where it becomes 100 percent okay so it's working through these breakpoints and it's getting a different maximum width at every breakpoint whereas the fluid container is always staying at 100 percent width right so what are these breakpoints well we can check them out on the uh, bootstrap Docs right here, all you want to do is go to Layout, then go to Overview, and we're going to see these responsive breakpoints right here. So Bootstrap adopts a mobile first approach. So we start off with an extra small device, right? This thing right here, which is less than 576 pixels. So anything that we create in Bootstrap is by default shown on these device widths in a certain way. Then when we reach a width of this 576 pixels, Bootstrap changes the display of our content so that it gets maybe bigger. So for example, this thing right here, when it reaches 576 pixels, let's get to it, 565, there we go, just roughly there. You can see it comes away from the edges and it gets a different max width, okay? The next one up is 768 pixels. So that's kind of like tablets, things like that. So again, if we get to 768 and you can see, by the way, the um, the device width roughly here, you might need to zoom in, but uh, you can see 
is currently at about 660 and as we go up to 768 which is around about now you can see it jumped again now we get a different max width okay the next one is 992 so let's have a look again just bring this out to 992 and it's going to snap around about now there we go snapped again and got a different max width and then the final one is 1200 pixels so for anything over this it snaps again so let's take a look at that round about now there we go snaps again gets a different max width so they're containers and these breakpoints don't only apply to containers they apply to different things and different components that bootstrap provides us with such as the grid system the different breakpoints uh, the grid system displays differently for example at certain breakpoints we might have four elements going across in one row at a smaller breakpoint we might have two elements going across in a row okay so it changes the display of those elements as we go through the breakpoints and we're going to see the, all that in action later on so which container you use either it be fluid or fixed depends on your design i guess but uh, i'm going to be using a mixture of both i think throughout this series so now we know what containers are, how about we put something in them in the very next tutorial.